The C-SPAN networks bring you long-form public affairs programming from the nation's capital and are a public service of your television provider. C-SPAN, created by cable. I'm going to give you a little story. Um, I'm on Obamacare. My husband was on Obamacare with me. And we were told that we were enrolled in Obamacare. And then when we filed claims, we were told we were not enrolled in Obamacare. And then we got it straightened out, and he filed claims, and we were told once again that we were not on Obamacare. Well, come to find out, my husband was having chest pains at the time that he was told we were not enrolled in Obamacare. And come to find out, he didn't have all of the tests that he was advised by his physician to have. So, on October 24th, the week before election, my husband went to sleep and never woke up. He had a massive heart attack in his sleep at age 65, a perfectly, by all appearances, healthy man. Come to find out, in a conversation with his physician after he died, he chose not to have one of the tests, the last test, his doctor told him to have. This happened to coincide with the time that we were told that we were not covered by Obamacare. I'm not telling you that my husband died because of Obamacare. He died because he had a massive heart attack in his sleep. But I am telling you that during the course of time that he was having tests by a physician and was told we were not covered by Obamacare, that he then decided not to have the last test the doctor asked him to have. Let me suggest that there may be a decline in participation and that it may not be to the benefit of the American people. I want to suggest that regardless of what happened to me personally, that there have been so many glitches in the passage and implementation of Obamacare that have real life consequences on people's lives. And the, the so-called glibness that has been referenced today have direct consequences for real American people. So get over your damn glibness. First of all, I'm sorry. I, I thank the gentlelady. Could I answer? I don't think she had a question for you. Uh, Ms. Loomis, do you have a pending question? Mr. Chairman, I really do yield back. The gentlelady yields back. We go to Dr. Desjolais of Tennessee. 